well good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel as you can see i am at home now back from my amazing ski holiday in alp d'huez if you missed the last vlog oh my goodness me i think it's one of my favorite ever vlogs definitely get yourself a snack a hot drink and somewhere comfy to six it's almost an hour long i feel like my travel vlogs are always so much longer just because obviously it's so many days packed into one but i didn't really want to like split it into a part one and part two because i just felt like it all really like flowed together so i hope you don't mind an extra long travel vlog in the last video you should have literally seen how quickly i managed to turn around that video we got back on saturday and the video was up by 5 p.m on sunday evening so it is monday morning now and my goodness me do we need to catch up i feel like we haven't spoken in ages despite the fact that it's literally only been two days since i last picked up the camera but i feel like so much has happened in those last two days and i feel like we just need to have a good old catch up i literally have just been getting myself ready for the morning i've got freshly washed eggs i feel like there's nothing better than when you get back from traveling and you just do the full body pamper wash your hair scrub your tan off put some fresh fresh fake tan on i even went and got my nails done yesterday because you should have seen my nails by the end of the holiday they were so grown out they were actually a little bit stained which is really really gross but i think it's from wearing black gloves the entire week they had like black kind of marks around the edge of where like the um shellac was i think they were stained from the gloves so they were not looking cute so the first thing i did yesterday after getting back was literally book myself in for a nail appointment and i've gone slightly different from my usual color i'm actually quite proud of myself i was really Really, really tempted to go for my usual satin pajama my nail lady literally had it out ready for me and was like i knew you were coming so i got it out ready but there was a lady in front of me who was getting her nails done when i first arrived and she got this color it's called oxblood and i looked at it and i was like you know what that's a really really nice color and my nail lady was going are you gonna go for this color because if you are I'm gonna be so proud of you and I was like let's do it let's go for that color and we were like I'm so proud of me so I got the cutest little like dark mauvey red this is actually apparently the color of the year which is weird because it's not one that I really saw much of whenever I was doing my trends prediction video it's not like the biggest trend color but I know that when it comes to like the color spectrum there's always like a particular color that is like kind of been noted as what's going to be the color of the year I'm just double checking that I'm not flashing you um and the main color that I was kind of predicting seeing was blue and a lot of people are still saying that and i think especially in summer we're going to see so much blue but for winter this seems to be the color of the year it's like oxblood mauvey really like deep maroon red and i actually kind of love it i feel like it's very different for me i keep noticing my nails and being like oh that's a lot but you know what i think it's kind of cute and i've just gone for like a really subtle fake tan i didn't want to go like full mahogany bronze the first day that i was back especially because like obviously we're at the end of january now and no one's really got an amazing tan at the end of jan so i just wanted to give myself a little bit of a glow and just make myself feel better after a little bit of a stressful travel i say a little bit a very very stressful travel home i won't lie when it comes to ski holidays there's something that everyone will know and that is that number one, Saturday is changeover day. Most accommodations that you will go to will only do Saturday to Saturday. I think it's because of like staffing. It's just because it makes it easy for them. So everyone knows Saturday is changeover day, which means the airports are manic. Usually going out, they're not as bad because lots of people are going from different airports, whether you're going from like Gatwick or Heathrow or up north in like Manchester or Birmingham or things like that. So it's not too bad going out. Coming home, oh my goodness me. Number one, we flew from Chambry Airport, which is one of the smallest airports you can fly to and from when it comes to ski holidays. Um, we've never done Chambry before. We've done a couple of different airports. We've done Geneva, we've done Grenoble. So we thought we'd give it a try. It might be a little bit better because it's smaller. Spoiler alert, it was horrendous there was no lounge nowhere that you can go and like sit and get a break or like anything like that um and because i've mentioned before my mum's disabled so we have special assistance when it comes through going through security and things like that because um it's just a little bit more complicated for her and basically we ended up queuing for two hours to sit down at a restaurant there was nowhere else that we could sit um so my poor mum was standing for two hours waiting for this restaurant we finally managed to get a seat managed to get some food which we were all absolutely starving by that point um and then what we were told basically by the kind of like airport staff was to wait until final call they would come and get us put in our luggage and then take us through the fast track of security which isn't like unusual or anything like that I think the staff maybe forgot or they just left it too late because when we went to go and check in our bags we were told you can't check in your bags check-ins closed we're not taking any more bags and so we were all stood there like um i'm sorry 
what? Uh, so there was a little bit of an argument between like the airport staff, they were kind of going back and forth a little bit about whether it was closed, whether they could reopen it for us, um, because it wasn't our fault, like we were literally told don't check them in until we come and get you. So luckily we'd like booked seats on the flights and stuff, so that wasn't a worry, it was just about getting our bags home. So they managed to reopen at the check-in for us, get our bags in, and then we were told, right, go through security, go through the fast track. And then when we got to the fast track, we were like, hi, we're for the, um, the Gatwick flight, and the woman at the security went, you know, you literally have five minutes before your plane leaves. They're already boarding it. Like, you're going to miss your flight. And we were like, sorry, what? We were told literally only to come through now. She was like, you need to run through security. So, bless them. We literally had to skip the queue. I felt so bad because there's lots of people looking at us. Like, they clearly thought that we were just, like, late for our flight or something. Or we were really irresponsible. And I literally... <coughs> Sorry, I literally, every person that we passed, I was like, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I was apologizing to everyone. And then my bag got stopped at security. And oh my God, the woman that decided to go through my bag, I think it was just because it was quite full. So sometimes when it's quite full, it's quite difficult to see, like as it goes through the x-ray machine, because I have a lot with me. I've got like my camera equipment, I've got my laptop, I've got all my work stuff. And I always like to keep that with me in my hold luggage. Um, and she basically just started taking things out and literally like looking through everything as if it was almost like a show. Like it was, like I was giving her a haul of my bag. Like she was actually taking out my thing. And so I think, oh, camera, very nice. Mm -hmm. And then I had like a little food bag with some like crisps, some like chocolate. She opened that up. There was a box of Pringles in there that was open and she opened it and the entire thing fell out of my bag. And I was just stood there like, and then we would bought some like glasses when we were there and like she would open up oh, very nice glasses. And I was literally stood there and I just went up and I was like, madam, I'm sorry, but I'm going to miss my flight. And she was like, it's okay, you won't miss your flight. I was like, no, 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 I'm on the Gatwick flight. I'm going to miss it. And she just kind of went, okay, you can take your bag. After she'd emptied the entire, the entire thing onto the counter and I just looked at her like, Are you and then she walked off. She wasn't gonna help me and I was just like, are you actually kidding me? I was ready to have a panic attack. <laughs> Poor Alex was like, had to say to my family, look, you guys go get on the flight. Me and Ellie will just sort this out, try and hold the plane for us. So we had to sprint through the airport, literally run to the gate. We were the last people on. They let us through the gate. We sat down and then they went, right, everyone's boarded. We're ready to go. And I honestly, I was literally sat there like, <gasps> it was the most stressful travel I think I've ever, ever had. It was not a fun day, but luckily, obviously we got home it's safe and sound and it was so nice to sleep in our own bed but to top off the stressful travel i've come home to a car that doesn't work <laughs> so we drove alex's car to the airport we kind of have two cars I, we normally call them like my car and alex's car but it's kind of like we both share both of them so we've got a little fiat and then we've got the big range rover the big range rover is like our long distance our country drives um our like you know accommodation travel kind of car whereas the fiat is the little city run around like if you just want to go somewhere quick and as i was going to get my nails done it's obviously much easier to park in the fiat so i usually drive that one and because i do a little bit more just kind of like easy here and there driving i usually drive the fiat alex usually drives the rover so anyway i was getting in the fiat and i think the battery's dead i think because it was so cold the week that we were away i think the batteries died in my car so it won't start i can't get it to go it's stuck on my drive right now and the drive points towards the house so it's not even as if I can like roll it out onto the street and like roll it to a garage. So going to need to call my breakdown cover and get them to come and pick up the Fiat and hopefully take them to the local garage because that is not fun at having a car. Like luckily we've obviously got two cars so I'm just going to be driving the Rover now for the next few days until we can get it sorted but I don't like driving the Rover as much as the Fiat just because the Fiat's so tiny, it's so easy, it's such a like little throwing car whereas the Rover is obviously very big much more difficult to park, like it's just a little bit more stressful for me. So that was fun to come home to stressful travel and now a little bit of a stress with regards to cars. So thank goodness we have two cars between us and it's not something that's gonna like get me stuck in the house. It's not something that's really gonna overly affect me. It's just one of those little stresses in life that you really, really could do without, but it doesn't matter. We're home, we're safe and we had the most amazing trip away. I really am feeling so, so grateful. And I also just wanna say thank you so much for all the love over on Instagram all of like the posts and the stories and the tiktoks you guys were loving the tiktok videos which makes me really happy because i had so much fun filming them like they were really really fun ones to do i just wanted to have a little bit more fun i feel like that's the best place to have a bit more fun like tiktok you can just kind of do silly things and maybe show like your personality a little bit more i feel like i'm not the funniest person so sometimes it's a little bit tricky but yeah i really enjoyed the ski content i got over on tiktok so we're home we're safe and i am excited for the week ahead because we've got lots coming i've just realized though i've been rambling for like 10 minutes 
just to give you the update on the travel, getting home and coming back from skiing. I haven't even put on my jewellery. I'm literally just wearing the same robe that I took with me away skiing. I had a few questions about this actually. This is the... Um, Cyber Jammies robe. I absolutely love it. It's so lightweight. It's really comfy and it's a great one to take away with you. I definitely need to learn to bring slippers when I go on holiday because it's really, really chilly in the house. But I think I'm just going to put some easy everyday jewellery on. I'm really, really loving these dark nails. I feel like maybe I discovered it a bit late now that we're coming into February. I feel like these aren't going to be on trend for much longer. But now that we're still in winter, do you find February winter or spring? Because I feel like February is when people want to start getting excited for spring, but obviously it's still so chilly at the moment that we kind of can't exactly ignore the fact that we are definitely in the depths of winter. But I really am in the mood to start getting ready for spring and start kind of like prepping and planning and just getting organised. But um, yeah, I'm just going to get a simple jewellery stack on today, get myself dressed and then we can catch up in a bit. Right, so I am dressed and ready for the day. I'm so, so sorry about that long ramble. I feel like we just have so much to catch up on. This is why I love daily vlogging, because I do feel like even if I just go a couple of days without chatting to you guys, I'm like, oh my goodness, we have so much to catch up on. We have so much to talk about, but yeah all up to speed now i've just got on the cozy seal jumper and like everyday jewelry i'm loving wearing my jewelry again i do feel like when i'm away skiing i do miss it so i've just got on my favorite little pandora sapphire earrings i've just got on my favorite like bangles the um brilliant spangle my favorite little rings the knot ring and of course the halo ring um and my favorite bangle day hey, and i just feel like it works really really well despite the fact that actually there is gold on this jumper i feel like the silver jewelry is really really working this is the really gorgeous warehouse jumper you would have seen in a recent video my little warehouse haul it's so cozy so comfy and so cute and i've just paired it with a little pair of black wide leg trousers and it's like a roll neck and speaking of roll neck i goodness me that's a bad turn over. <laughs> I saw a video recently on TikTok and I feel like it has changed my life because I think I'm wearing my roll necks wrong so I fold them down on the outside but I saw a video that says you're supposed to fold them down on the inside never heard that before but supposedly you're supposed to do your roll neck like that way and it's a bit more like flattering a bit more comfortable I'm really really unsure so let me know the way that you wear your roll necks because I've always worn them this way and I don't always fold them once like sometimes I fold them twice it's never really bothered me but ever since seeing that video I'm like oh maybe I should be wearing them or like folding them the other way I'm really really unsure but as I showed you my outfit there you probably would have seen We've got some parcels beside me to unbox. I had quite a few PR bits arrive whilst I was away and a little bit of an outdoors haul. So let's unbox them together. Okay, also before we get started on the unboxing, what do we think about the side parting? I've been doing my hair a little bit differently and I'm kind of loving it. I feel like it's mainly because it's due a haircut. Um, I do have a haircut scheduled in really soon. It's getting a little bit long and I feel like because of that, these bits just aren't sitting where they normally do. My kind of like layered bits at the front. So I decided to do a side parting today and you know what? I'm not hating it. So let me know what you think. But haul, PR unboxing, let's get into it. So the first thing that I wanted to show you, where have I put them now? is these this is like one of the few things that i actually bought whilst i was in outdoors i was really restrained considering how much alex got he got himself some new sunglasses he got himself some new boots and he got some like drinking glasses and i literally picked up some sweeties but these if you've never tried them and you're going to visit any european country i think you can mainly find them in france maybe in spain you can usually find the most places for me the main place i always see them is whenever i'm skiing these are draggy bus they are haribo sweets and oh my goodness me they are amazing if you like chewy quite sweet sweets like they're kind of almost like giant skittles without the like rock hard shell it's almost like the inside of a skittle oh my god they're amazing absolutely amazing so i picked these up at the airport and took these home with me because i was like oh i can't get them anywhere else i need to um i need to take them home so i've been really restrained i've not opened them i really wanted to have them as a snack as we were driving home but i was like no i need to show the vlog because these are just life-changing sweets i absolutely love them and i always pick them up whenever we go skiing because i just feel like they are just oh they're so yummy so so good you can get like the mini ones you can get the giant ones i personally prefer the mini ones but yes i brought those home with me and that's pretty much all that i actually picked up whilst we were away at skiing i was so proud of myself that I didn't really buy much whilst we were out there. But as I said, I did receive some PR bits 
when I arrived home. So first of all, it's a lovely gift from Pixie. Now, as you know, I'm on Pixie's mailing list. So they always send me really lovely like releases, any new products that are coming out. So let's see what we've got in here. I absolutely love Pixie skincare. I feel like they do some really, really lovely, just a quite simple and quite affordable skincare. So this is the Pixie Clarity Collection interesting so let me read this out to you it says this collection was developed to be ultimate pore minimizing clarifying problem solver featuring a potential trio of salicylic acid and glycolic acids as well as many more skin loving ingredients to help rebalance and rehydrate actually that is perfect timing because let me just move i really hate it when they always send these um packing things because they just feel very unnecessary and it always creates a little bit of a mess but having chatted to my I have a facialist now. My facialist um, at SkinCeuticals, um, whenever I get my Hydra facials done, I've got another one booked in actually, which I'm really, really looking forward to because I do feel like whenever I travel, I get very, very congested. But the main thing she said to me is that I do need to focus on closing my pores and clearing my pores because especially like around my nose area, I think it's also as a glasses wearer, anyone else that wears glasses will probably relate. My camera battery is flashing. My goodness me, this is a hectic first vlog back. Hold please call her. Right, now where were we? <laughs> Pixie Beauty. So, one of the things that I'm really focusing on in the near future with regards to my skincare is not only just stripping it back, but also focusing on the things that are really going to help and the problems that I have, like as diagnosed by a facialist, like by a dermatologist, because I feel like a lot of the time I've just been going off like feel and maybe that's not always the best thing to do because I feel like I'm really dry, but actually I'm using a lot of products and then clogging up my pores. So I'm really excited to, to try these because she's really told me that I need to focus on more kind of like clarifying, cleansing products that aren't going to get my pores all clogged up, which obviously will then lead to breakouts, will lead to spots, will lead to a lot of nastiness. So we have a few things in here that I'm really, really excited about. First of all is the clarifying cleanser, the clarity cleanser. So it's got a salicylic acid and probiotics. Now everyone's talking about probiotics in terms of like your gut, in terms of your health, in terms of like food at the moment. But I've never actually seen any skincare products using them. So I'm really excited to try that. So it says, it's a clear complexion cleanser that hydrates whilst gently and effectively purifying pores, visibly minimizing breakouts. Salicylic, lactic, and glycolic acid help refresh and exfoliate while probiotics balance and preserve. That sounds amazing. So we've got the cleanser there. We've then got the toner, which these I love. I brought the glow tonic with me actually when we were um, skiing because they're like the perfect travel size. But look at how blue it is. Like that's a little bit scary. It literally looks like something out of Avatar. But love the sound of that. We then have a serum. So this is the Clarity Concentrate. Clarity Concentrate. Clarity Concentrate Clarifying Serum. So again, it is an effective problem solving serum with clarifying effect to help refine, my goodness me, help refine the look of pores and promote a more even skin tone and a smoother complexion. Do you know what? I'm actually struggling to read how small this is. I feel like I'm really starting to show my age because I'm having to like do this as I read, but that sounds really lovely. It's probably because I've got my contacts in today. Um, we then have a Clarity Lotion, which this sounds interesting i'm not sure what i think of this it's an oil-free moisturizer is this a face moisturizer yeah looks like it yeah oh my goodness i've never tried a moisturizer like a face moisturizer that's been in a tube like that but i might try a little bit on the back of my hand see how it feels i'm gonna open it because i do really love these kinds of moisturizers okay weirdly it doesn't really have much of a smell and look at the consistency of it it's like very very clear but it's very nice actually that's really lovely. I can't smell anything. So that's quite nice, actually. If maybe you're someone that's got a little bit of, um, like, eczema or if you've got quite sensitive skin, that might be a great one to try. Genuinely, cannot smell a thing. Really, really weird. But yes, we then have the Zero Zit. This is a spot solution, which I have been wanting to try this, actually, for quite a long time. A lot of people have chatted about this that I've seen online. Um, and it's supposed to be really, really good for just if you have, like, particular breakouts. I feel like my skin's not looking too bad considering that i literally got off a flight the other day had a very very stressful time and was eating crap for the entire week and i feel like those are like the three things for me that literally just usually cause my skin to freak so if i do have any spots that pop up i can give this a try and that should be really really good but it's also nice that i've got my facial coming up so i've got that to just like really decongest my skin and get it back to a really really good point so some lovely lovely gifts from pixie i then have something really really exciting to show you now this is from wsc london which is a watch strap company now they're not just any watch strap company 
they are a diamond watch strap company and oh my goodness i fell in love with a couple of watch straps that they stock and i just had to pick them up i was wearing my apple watch for pretty much the entirety sorry did i say apple watch the apple watch straps um i was wearing my apple watch for like the entirety of the time that we were there because it's really nice to be able to like track your movements like track your skiing there's a couple of times i literally just like put on the um like ski exercise or like snow sports exercise on the kind of like um tracker and it could just track like exactly what we were doing where we were going it was really really fun and i thought it would be really lovely to add a couple more like everyday straps into my wardrobe because i do find that when i've got my sports strap on it makes me not want to wear my watch and it makes me just want to use it as like a sports thing whereas if i had like a lovely beautiful diamond watch strap oh my goodness me you guys are not even gonna be able to see how beautiful this is look at this it's a really beautiful brown leather watch strap and if you look super closely on the clasp there is if my camera wants to focus there is actually a diamond there which i just think is so so beautiful so it is a leather strap but oh my goodness i do find leather straps actually to be quite comfortable if you're someone that's maybe not as used to the kind of like metal straps and you find them a little bit itchy leather is beautiful and also makes your watch look less apple watchy i do sometimes find with the metal ones still looks a little bit spy kids i think is the best way to describe it so i picked up that one which i just thought was beautiful and look at this packaging this would make such a gorgeous birthday present if you know someone that loves their apple watch i will link these down below because oh my goodness me that would make such an incredible present now the other one that i picked up again is a bit more like every day it's very much like less sporty oh my goodness it's beautiful it's absolutely beautiful now this is definitely more of like a metal watch strap and this is something that i think is going to look so gorgeous paired with my apple watch oh my word the packaging is so lovely it's all very like it's very much kept together which i think is really really nice so it makes it quite special to unbox look at that oh my actual word that is beautiful that is so so beautiful the shininess of the metal is just like nothing i've ever seen online and again it's got the diamond on the clasp as well and it does actually have the wsc like logo kind of embroidered in there which i just think is so so beautiful and because i do have the starlight i went for the silver watch strap because again as you know i'm loving my silver and it's not too thick actually i do sometimes find with some of the watch straps they look a bit masculine because they're very very thick this is a really really nice one i think that's going to look so beautiful but what an insane diamond unboxing i literally i'm just so so in love with both of these i can't decide if i prefer the leather or the silver they're just both so absolutely stunning i can't wait to put them on my watch and what an insane parcel to come home to and then the last parcel that i have come home to is a very lovely delivery from a new brand that i've discovered called pick pickly piccoli P-I-C-C-O-L-I, -C -C is that Piccoli or Piccoli? Not entirely sure the pronunciation, but they're a new petite brand. They've given me a little note actually, which I might read out to you. So I hope you like our gorgeous Pinhevas pants. It has been made by small groups of seamstresses in Brazil using premium, high quality, sustainable materials. So excited for you to be wearing it, which is so, so kind of them. We've actually got some info here about the brand and just about their like fabrics, their sustainability. So it says from the fabrics of the from the fabrics to the buttons and labels, most materials we use are biodegradable, certified or sustainable. Check our website for full breakdown. We reduce plastics throughout our supply chain. Your order arrived in 100% recyclable and compostable packaging, much of which was already recycled. This card, for example, that's so cute. Most of our materials are sourced from Brazilian factories. This helps support the local economy and reduce our carbon footprint. The woman of the Satiri Maui tribe? trade crafts to fund their livelihoods love that the amazon it generates c.20 percent of the world's oxygen is home to over 40,000 plants species and one in ten animal species we help keep our forests alive by planting one tree for each sale i love that and it said that small clothes with a huge attitude these aren't your kids section finds or shrunken versions from fast fashion retailers these are petite only designs just for you so i love that so i will link to piccoli piccoli down below and i just love the packaging as well look at the little bees 
They are so, so cute. So they very kindly sent me a new pair of trousers to try that I am so, so excited about. This really gorgeous linen pair. And if you know me, you'll know that in spring, summer, all I ever want to live in is linen. So I'm already starting to think about my spring wardrobe. I feel like paired with just like a white shirt. Or even actually, if you're wanting to wear them now, paired with a jumper like this could look really, really cute. But I just thought they were so perfect. They were a really lovely wide leg, which if you're petite like me, I always find is so, so flattering. And I just absolutely love the material. Love how they look and love the feel of them so i will leave these linked down below as well because i'm so excited to style these up for spring oh my goodness me would you look at these trousers now i've just tried them on without any shoes or socks or anything because i really wanted to like show you the length of them now if you don't know i am five foot exactly but i do have longer legs in proportion to my top half i'd say maybe like in terms of most girls that would kind of be my size you'd be like five one five two um but oh these are perfect i think they're just going to fit so many of you guys perfectly in length love the feel of them so i picked them up in a uk 12 and they fit really really beautifully around my waist and around my bum as well they're super super flattering which i really love now i've just paired them with this jumper which i do actually think is quite cute i think maybe with like some boots it would make it a little bit more wintry and then when you want to create a bit more of a summer vibe I'd say just like a white shirt and some or sandals would look really really gorgeous so love the trousers love the brand they definitely need a little bit of esteem but I just absolutely adore everything that the brand stands for it's so exciting when I get introduced to a new petite range that I can show you guys a new sustainable petite brand to introduce you to so I'll leave it linked down below because I just think they are absolutely gorgeous okay I've just put on the leather watch strap and I definitely have to say I think this one is my favorite it's so so beautiful just the way that it like sits on my wrist i absolutely adore it and if you look super closely you can see the diamond in the um the, like clasp it's a really interesting way because it looks like it's like um just a normal buckle but it's not actually it's like got a big opening clasp which i think is so so great i love how it doesn't look too bulky on my wrist it just looks like a really beautiful watch especially paired with my panda with jewelry i love how it all pairs together it has silver hardware as well which is really really nice because it just means that it all links so perfectly and stacks so perfectly together so i think this is the one that i'm going to keep on for now and i think it's a really nice way just to make sure that i wear my watch in a more like everyday sense rather than just wearing it for active wear or walks or like sports or things like that it's a really lovely way to get more use out of my watch so i'll leave the watch straps linked down below because they are so so beautiful everyone it is the next day now and i just want to preface by saying i'm so sorry if you hear any banging or clanging or workmen noises in the background this morning we've got some workmen over just to do a few little changes to the front of the house nothing exciting nothing worth documenting but it is a little bit noisy so i hope that you don't hear it too much in the background but i've just made my morning coffee this morning i'm definitely in need of the caffeine and as you can see i've got my little apple watch strap on i'm absolutely obsessed with the straps i think they are just so so beautiful i'm actually tempted to get one for my mum for her birthday because i think she might really like them as well because she wears her apple watch like literally every single day religiously i have to tell her off sometimes when we're going to like a fancy event i'm like mum you look like a spy kid but actually with these nice straps you don't it looks like a normal really lovely fancy watch so i left you in the lurch a little bit yesterday i ended up having a full afternoon of meetings catching up on things and just trying to get ahead for the week this week it's always a little bit manic when you come back off holiday because you've missed a week of work so just kind of trying to play catch up and trying to get ahead ready for the next week but i realized actually there was one big update that I forgot to give you yesterday. Hence why I am down here and hence why I'm sitting on something in particular. If you watched my Amazon haul video last week and you thought that it was maybe cut a little bit short, that is because it was. I was planning on having the actual like sofa delivery in the video and I was gonna style it up and I was so excited for it. Um, but my delivery has been pushed back, unfortunately. The way that Snug work, they're kind of like supplier and the people that they work with has been like changing over. So even though I'd had a text the night before saying, remember you've got your delivery coming tomorrow, like don't forget, here's your delivery slot. The sofa never showed up. So I was sitting waiting in the house for 
a good three hours. I mean, let's be honest, I'm in the house anyway, but I was sitting waiting for the sofa to arrive and it never did, which was a little bit frustrating. So I had to call customer service and I found out through them that basically it wasn't actually ever going to be being delivered that day. So that was fun. Um, so I need to try and get in contact with the new delivery team and organize a new delivery date. So I have no idea when we're going to be able to get it delivered for. So thank goodness we didn't get rid of the sofa yet. Honestly, I would have been so cross if we'd gotten rid of this, it just had a big empty gap because it always really upsets me when you've got like a bit of time when you have to wait between things. So we're trying to organize it so that the new sofa arrives and then this one we're passing off to some family members um, and they can like pick it up pretty soon afterwards. So we're quite lucky in that sense. But um, yeah, the new sofa did not get delivered. So still waiting for that. Fingers crossed it's going to be sometime in February, sometime soon, and we'll be able to style up and try out the new sofa because that is like the biggest thing that's happening in the house at the moment, the thing that I am the most excited about other than the changes that are happening to the front of the house. But it's not exactly something I'm going to document because I'm not going to show the front of my house on YouTube. So yeah, that is like the biggest thing that's really, really exciting that's happening. And I've just been pinning so, so many like home boards and like things that I want to do in terms of like styling it up. It's not really going to be all that different because it's the same kind of shape. It's the same kind of vibe, but just slightly different. I think it's going to be a bit squishier, a bit bigger, and obviously not white. That is going to be the biggest change. So I'm really, really looking forward to that arriving. I'm just hoping and praying that we'll be able to get the delivery slot in soon. But I have some work calls that I need to do. I've got my coffee that I need to drink. So I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Well, it seems like my office is pretty much completely out of bounds today. I tried to start filming in there a minute ago and the banging and clanging is no jokes. It's obviously at the front of the house and that's where my office is. So I've come back here, hopefully in the bedroom, it's a little bit less noisy and a little bit less noticeable. I must admit, actually, as I'm sitting here, I'm like, you know what? I should use this as a filming space more often because ever since we like replaced the furniture and like redid this room, it really has just become such a beautiful and tranquil place. I absolutely love it in here but I've just had a new delivery of two of my favorite favorite things I'm so excited about to add back into my routine I know that I've been speaking a lot about skincare and a lot about like the journey I'm going through and things like that but this is just really really helping me in terms of making sure that I'm like nailing the right products and getting it spot on with regards to what I want to be putting on my skin and I've not used the pro collagen range in a little while and I definitely noticed that when I was using that range my skin was looking at its healthiest so I picked up the day and the night cream so this is the pro collagen night cream it's an anti wrinkle hydrating and night cream for fine lines and wrinkles firms smooths and replenishes and then this is the pro collagen marine cream with spf 30 now i am someone that i will always add spf over the top anyway even if i've got spf in my skincare in my makeup because i do find that it's not quite strong enough especially spf 30 is just not strong enough for me but this is an anti-wrinkle hydrating day cream with spf 30 in it and i'm really really excited to add these back into my routine and have them for day and for night because i feel like utilizing products as well that like designed to be used together really can make a difference like i know that i've spoken about this quite a lot but you know the ysl to chakla range i obviously used the primer separately i used the foundation separately and it's not until i used them together that i was like wow i really really noticed a difference so i feel like using these creams together the day and the night to like complement each other i think is really really going to help my skin because sometimes if you're using different products or like different branded products you might not know that they're like working against each other or like whether they're like the most compatible so if it's really nice to get two products that you definitely know are compatible that are going to work really really well together so i'm so so excited about those and i'm actually got a really exciting afternoon i thought i might take you guys along with me because i've got something booked in that i've never done before and you guys know that i really really love just not the table that i really love like alternative kind of therapies so like massage acupuncture and there's one that i've never tried but heard really really good things about and that's reflexology it's supposed to be great if you're like got lots of stresses if you maybe get a lot of headaches migraines like stress headaches and things like that so i actually have a reflexology appointment this afternoon that i'm really really looking forward to i'm not entirely sure what to expect i know that it's like feet and like pressure points, that's pretty much the extent of my knowledge. So I'm really looking forward to that this afternoon. I think it'll be a really nice way to de-stress and relax after everything that's been happening recently, with things that have been going wrong with the house, with the car, with the travel, with the sofa. I feel like it's just not really my week. And hopefully, I mean, I say that it's only Tuesday, but hopefully this will reset how I'm feeling. I also think obviously mindset is a huge part of it. So hopefully it will just get me in the right mindset so that the rest of the week is really smooth sailing and 
everything goes really really nicely so yeah really looking forward to that this afternoon i would show you a quick outfit of the day just as we're heading out the door because despite the fact that it's like super i don't know like casual and kind of like lazy girl i'm actually kind of loving it um so i've just thrown over the really gorgeous warehouse coat this black coat is just my absolute fave i love it so so much it's like a really easy throw over any outfit anything you're wearing i've got my louis vuitton shet matisse because after using it whilst we were skiing i've kind of fallen back in love with the bag i forgot how much i love this it's such a great winter handbag again it's super easy to throw on of course today i'm wearing this really gorgeous river island number it's such a cozy jumper it's like a long line jumper and i was wearing leggings but i just changed into some loose trousers because i'm not entirely sure if i'll have to strip off with regards to like access to my legs so i thought i'll wear loose trousers because i can always just pull them up um, and then I'm going to change the Ugg slippers for Ugg boots. And that's the outfit of the day. So let's go and get reflexologized. <laughs> I've just got out of my reflexology appointment now. And all I can say is, wow. Oh my goodness me. I don't think I've ever felt this zen, this calm, or this relaxed in such a long time. That was absolutely zen sensational like i really do feel like all of the stresses that were really starting to get on top of me and i think sometimes you don't realize just how stressed you are about something until maybe you de-stress about it like i feel like everything that's going been going on this past week it's actually been getting on top of me maybe more than i realize because that just really helped me just calm down completely like flush it all out of my system and just feel really 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 calm which was so so lovely i definitely fell asleep throughout that because it literally felt like it lasted 10 minutes and i was in there for an hour so really really enjoyed it i definitely say it's like more of a mixture of massage and acupuncture so it's acupressure rather than acupuncture so if maybe acupuncture kind of like freaks you out a little bit you're not really a fan of the needles this would be a great great option for you obviously it's just your feet so you don't have to like strip off you don't have to take anything off you just have to wear loose trousers so that she can access your feet and your ankles um so I'm definitely glad that I changed into my looser, wider trousers because it meant I didn't have to strip anything off. And oh, it was just so nice because like the bed was heated, the room was so heated with the tinkle, tinkle music. I chose a aromatherapy oil with ylang ylang in because that's just my favourite, favourite scent. It always sets me straight off. I'm just like, that's it. I'm relaxed. I'm here. I'm ready. I want to go to sleep. I want to be zen. Like, oh, that was just absolutely incredible. Like, it really did feel like a really deep massage on your feet, like a deep tissue massage. I quite like a firmer massage. So when it came to like the pressure, she was like, how was the pressure? I was like, oh, you can go harder if you want. It was really, really lovely. I'm genuinely feeling like, I don't want to drive home now. I just want to like curl up. Oh, I might put my heated seat on and just be. <laughs> But no, I need to go. I need to crack on with the rest of my day. But I'm definitely feeling a lot more positive and a lot just like calm about everything that's going on. I know it will all sort itself out. And it's one of those things where I think sometimes something like that can just really give you the perspective. And I'm such a believer that everything happens for a reason. And I'm really glad that I had this booked in for today because I do remember seeing it in my diary whilst we were skiing. Being like, oh, is it a bit too close to like coming back from skiing? I'm going to only just be back for two days. I'm so, so glad that I did because I really did need that. And I feel like the rest of the week is now going to be up from here on out. So definitely would recommend looking into reflexology. I think that'd be a really lovely gift as well. If you know anyone that maybe is going through a stressful time, I think if you're pregnant, that might be really nice. Maybe look into whether pregnant people can get that. But I'm pretty sure you can because it's not too invasive. But, you know, someone that's going through a stressful time, maybe like a teacher or like someone in the NHS, a doctor or a nurse, someone that's maybe got a stressful job or going through something a bit more difficult, that would be such a lovely gift to give them. Just to let them know you're thinking about them, help them de-stress, help them de-zen. I feel like I'm just talking nonsense because I'm genuinely just so... Mm, I'm so calm right now. That was honestly one of the best experiences ever. I think I need to book that in really, really regularly, but I need to drive home now and I need to pack myself up so I can actually drive home safely and then I can crack on with the rest of my evening. But I do think this evening, I'm just gonna take a step back. I'm gonna like forget what's on the to-do list, it doesn't matter, it can be picked up tomorrow. I think I'm just gonna try and have a bit of a more relaxing evening. Might cook something quite nice for dinner tonight for Alex and I, I am in the mood to cook. So that's the plan of action. Let's go home. <laughs> oh my goodness me. I feel like I'm looking like such a bedraggled mess right now, but I really cannot even begin to tell you how amazing that reflexology was. It really was something I've never experienced before. Like I just feel so zen, so calm, and I'm just actually really surprised at how like how well it's affected me. I was kind of expecting to get the same results from like 
acupuncture and like massages and things like that but I feel like it just hits differently I don't know what it is but weirdly one thing that I did find really odd so my reflexologist did warn me to drink lots of water so mm. I poured myself a really large glass she said drink double the amount of water you normally do um, and also do yourself a smaller and healthier meal than you would normally because apparently the reflexology actually releases toxins in your body I guess it's almost like getting a facial done you know like almost like wearing a face mask it like pulls the toxins out um, so your body is basically going to need time to adjust like your digestive system almost like needs a break um, and needs a little bit of time to kind of like catch up so she said to make a really lovely healthy small meal tonight so I think I'm going to make us a lovely yummy casserole to enjoy I'm going to do some mashed potatoes plenty of veg and just do myself a little bit of a smaller portion so that I can give my body a little bit of rest and I definitely think I am feeling it like I'm feeling the toxins in my body because I've got a bit of a headache now which has literally just started to come on so I think it is the toxins being released in my body so I'm going to drink as much water as I can and make sure to look after it but yeah would definitely 10 out of 10 recommend a reflexology appointment and I do feel like it's put me in a better mood and you know what I'm like guys manifestation positive energy positive out positive back I've managed to book in a date for the new sofa delivery. It's already looking up. We've already got a date booked in, so it will be arriving this February. So I'm so, so happy to have organized that. I mean, I do love our sofa, like, don't get me wrong. It is just my favorite, favorite thing. It's such a like comfy, squishy, lovely sofa, but I am so, so excited for the new one to arrive. So we've gone for the Cloud Sunday from Snug in Taupe. I feel like the colour is really going to tie this room in together because as much as I love the white, I do sometimes find it a little bit stark um, and obviously it shows up stains, it shows up marks. Like it's been a great sofa, the Ikea Grand Leg. So if you are looking for a really affordable sofa that actually does last longer than I think people give it credit for, I would definitely recommend the Grand Leg, but I'm so excited for the Snug Sunday to arrive. Every time I see my nails as well, I'm like, wow, this is dark. I decided to take my jewellery off as well before I went because I didn't want my watch to be buzzing whilst I was having my appointment. So I took my watch and my rings off just in case you were wondering, but I am rambling on. I feel like this has literally been, I should just title this video, the chattiest video I've ever, ever uploaded because it really has just been an absolute word vomit from me. But I feel like we've had so much to catch up on, so much to chat about and... I've really loved catching up with you guys and it only was a couple of days since I last spoke to you but so much happened in those couple of days and I'm so happy that I've got the sofa delivery in so we've got lots of home updates coming over the next month some really really exciting things actually I've got lots happening so if you haven't hit that subscribe button already this is your sign to do it now because I know a lot of you guys watch these videos without actually having hit the subscribe button so if that's you I would love it if you hit the button it would really help me out and it would also make sure that all of my videos go into your sub box so that you never miss an upload every Tuesday Thursday and Sunday I feel like I repeat myself with that so many times but I always still get questions from people like what is your upload schedule when do you upload so it's Tuesdays Thursdays and Sundays at 5 p.m british time we're in gmt at the moment i believe uh, but oh my goodness me i am still rambling on so much i'm going to go and make ourselves a really yummy casserole for dinner definitely have to put ellie bakes apron on i know that it's ellie cooks but we still need to wear the apron because it was my favorite christmas present that i ever ever got from my lovely boyfriend so i'm gonna make us a lovely yummy dinner I'm gonna take my makeup off get into some comfies and just enjoy all of the kind of like benefits from the reflexology i'm just gonna be zen tonight that is my plan so i will catch up with you guys in the next video i love you lots and lots and i hope you have the loveliest evening